we're pretty confident from a bunch of, of observations, um, some of them geological and other of them geochemical, that around 2.3 billion years ago, about, about halfway through Earth history, the amount of oxygen in the atmosphere rose substantially. It rose from almost nothing to still far less than you could breathe probably, but, but much, le much more than nothing. <laughs> Um, and so we think that around, by around 2.3 billion years ago, many of the reductants in the environment probably had been overwhelmed by oxygen production by cyanobacteria. That's in the atmosphere anyway. We, we don't really know the history in the oceans. Um, and so one of the things we really want to work out is the detailed history. We want to go to ancient ocean basins, ancient places kind of like this, and try to reconstruct how much oxygen was actually in the water in those places um, at different times in Earth history. And this is very challenging for a bunch of reasons. First of all, there are very few places you can go that uh, uh, preserve ancient uh, shallow marine environments like this, or ancient marine environments at all. There just aren't that many places where you can go that properly preserve ancient rocks to, to record the environmental information that we're really interested in about oxygen. So that's a big problem. Um, another big problem is that even when you find the right kind of rocks, teasing out from the rocks the kind of information that we're looking for about the amount of oxygen that was in the local water is very hard. You, you can't just go up to a rock and, and, and look at its color or bang on it or lick it or something like that and figure out how much oxygen was there. Uh, what you have to do is, is employ various techniques of geochemistry that are fairly complex and sophisticated. They involve taking samples of those rocks, taking them back to a lab, digesting them in acid, doing various chemical procedures to extract certain chemical elements from those rocks, chemical elements whose behavior in the environment is very sensitive to oxygen. So, so some of these elements are present in ancient sediments in, a, in greater abundance if there was oxygen around. Some are present in lower abundance if there was oxygen around. And so we need to extract these elements from, the, from these dissolved rocks that we dissolve in the lab in acid. Um, and then we have to take the, the purified elements that we're interested in and take them to instruments called mass spectrometers to measure their abundance and their, uh, in some cases, their isotope composition. So it's not trivial. Um, it's not trivial to find the sediments, that, uh, to find the, the ancient rocks that are the, the preserved versions of these ancient sediments. Um, and it's not trivial then to do the geochemical procedures, the analytical procedures that allow you to figure out from the rocks what the um, oxygen content of the environment was. And that's what a large part of what we're engaged in our, in our research.